Hey, this is Candace from The Hot Bohemian, and I'm going to show you how to make an earring for a cartilage pierced ear. This can be used for, um, you know, your tragus, the rook, the conch, any type of piercing that you have in your cartilage that is um, larger than a standard earring. Um, and these are nice, what we're making today is because it's solid and it's going to not crush if you're using like regular regular wire so the wire I'm using today is a 18 gauge sterling silver um, it might be ha I think it's half hard from Rio Grande this is what we're gonna use to make our earring we also have cutters two pairs of um, smooth jaw pliers a needle nose file I have a bezel mandrel and this was found on eBay um, maybe $15 I think and um, a hammer and I'm using a nylon one here. So the first thing you need to do is just figure out how big you want your earring to be. Standard sizes run from you know six millimeters up to ten um, and I'm working with millimeters just because it's easy to convert and cut my wire. Um, so I am going to do a ten millimeter one because this fits well in the conch piercing um, and I'm going to find the circumference of 10, a 10 millimeter circle. So what I do is I would take the 10 millimeter diameter and times it by pi. So that would be around 30 um, millimeters. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this wire, and this is just gonna be approximate, it's not gonna be a solid 10 millimeters in diameter, but I'm gonna cut it to 30. And now I have my piece of wire that I'm going to work with. All I'm going to do is bend it around my bezel mandrel till I get it to be a perfect circle. Okay, so it looks like this now, but we're just going to work until we get these ends to meet. And how we do that is by bending with our fingers and our pliers and using um the ha the mallet hammer to hammer these down so then just kind of work until you get a circle shape same concept as if you were um silversmithing and making a ring this is how I start my ring shanks. So this will be worked until it's a perfect circle. So I'm gonna work this and it shouldn't take longer than a couple minutes, but I'm just going to speed things up here and make this um, these two touch. So I got this earring pretty close to where I want it to be. Um, so what I'm going to do is take my needle nose plier and file until these are smooth because you're putting this in your ear and you don't want the marks from where you cut it with the, the cutters. So go ahead and just file this down. until it looks good and then maybe do one last making sure this is all round and then so this is a good way to make jump rings too if you just need um, one one or two jump rings so then here's my earring and what you do is to put it in, you can go ahead and pull both parts out and then put this in your ear. And then once it's in there, you can use pliers to help you align it back up. I had a friend help me with that because it was hard to do it on my own. But once it's um, shut like this, it should not slip out of your ear. I've slept with mine in and they're still there. 
and everything's good to go. So this is an inexpensive way to make a quick earring um, for any of your cartilage piercings. Thank you for watching.